Don't you hate it when you spend X amount of money on a pair of shoes, wait for two weeks for them to arrive, and when they arrive, they don't even fit. So today, I'm sharing a few tips on buying shoes online. So let's talk about the pros and cons of shopping online. I feel that when I shop online, it's a better use of my time and it taught me to be more disciplined as well when it comes to my shopping. So let's say if I want a, a pair of white strapless heels, I will just go to a few websites that I'm familiar with, put the keywords into the search and see what is available for me. And that way, I only look for the things I, I want to get instead of like browsing around the shop and end up with few things that I didn't plan for. So yeah, I love that about online shopping. So the cons though with online shopping, obviously, it's not like shopping at a store where you can just try things on, get a few of it, and then just take them with you. You know what I mean? So it takes time and it taught you to be patient. I love to always see things in a positive way. Before moving on, if you love shopping and fashion, please subscribe to my channel because I'll be making a lot of video like this and I would love you to join me in my conversations. Now let's talk about online shopping. I think the number one thing that you need to bear in mind is how soon you need the shoes. For example, when I was shopping for my wedding shoes, I gave myself one month for the product to arrive. Always give yourself a buffer, like a timeline. Let's say if you buy something today, if you expect it to arrive this the same way, you're just gonna end up stressing yourself out and stressing is not good because stressing costs aging and aging costs money. So, not good. Number two, know your size and get familiar with the conversion table. And also, if you have a measuring tape, that's great too. My, I know my shoe size is Italian 36. That means European size 36, but that is different from the French sizing and also different from the Australian and the UK sizing. So when you buy shoes online, just need to be familiar with the sizing. But if you're not, it's okay. When you buy shoes online, there's always a size guide or measuring guide for you to have a look. For certain brands though, like for example, Christian Louboutin, even the same, I know I'm an Italian 36 as a standard, but with Christian Louboutin, I know that different style will have different sizing as well, depends on the fit. I have shoes from Christian Louboutin that is like 35, and 36, 36 and a half, 35 and a half. So that is something to take note of when you shop online. But don't worry, I will share a few more tips so that you will get the shoes that fits you well. Number three, knowing the fit of the shoes, whether it's true to size, it's smaller to size. For example, when I shop for these Balenciaga, my Teresa indicates that it is smaller to size, so and it recommend me to take one size bigger to fit me better. I guess it's because of the narrow fit at the front. And so yeah, so look at the recommendation. Always look for the descriptions when you buy shoes online. Also, when you're buying boots online, ask yourself, what kind of socks are you going to wear inside the boots? For me, I always go for the thinnest socks with rubber grip. So that make, that enables my feet to not sliding around the boots. But um, I know that because the socks that I often wear with my boots is very thin, so I often just get true to size, my usual sizing, which is Italian 36. So there is something else to take note of if you're buying boots. Number four check the return and exchange policy. Is it complimentary return? Um, what's the time frame eligible for the product that you purchase? When I buy these Balenciaga, 
even though I read the descriptions and I listen to the recommendation to get one size bigger, the size 37 arrived and it still didn't fit me. So I know that my Teresa always include a complimentary return. So I emailed the customer service request for a size 36 and upon confirmation of the availability, I put everything back to the box. If your product comes with like a tag, do not remove it because if you remove it, that's game over. So put everything back to the box, fill up the return form, seal it nicely and attach the complimentary sticker and call the career. So that's what I love about online shopping, especially when it comes to designer shoes. They always have good customer service like this. Um, apart from my Teresa, I know that Netta Porte includes complimentary exchange and return as well because I bought my wedding dresses, my wedding outfits on Netta Porte and then I had to change the pants like two times to different sizing and so a complimentary return and exchange saves you some money when it comes because you don't want to pay for shipping, you know what I mean? When you already pay for the shipping for the first time. Last but not least, when you buy shoes online or buy anything online, check for the import duty. In New Zealand, every single item that is over a thousand dollar will incur an import duty. For example, why am I still holding the shoes? Um, for example, Amina Muadi, if you look at my Teresa, the, the cost, overall cost might look cheaper than Nera Porte. That is because my Teresa, um, you need to pay for your own import duty, whereas in Nera Porte, is, everything is included, like the shipping and the import duty is included. So if you do prefer this pair from my Teresa though, you can go check on this website if you're in New Zealand go check on this website and see how much your import duty will be and the import duty plus your cost of the shoes will be your final cost for the purchase you know what I mean so put remember that for your budget that's it from me today I hope you find this video helpful if you have any tips or suggestions, please feel free to leave it in the comment section so that everyone can have a look. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and um, hopefully I will see you on the next one. Ciao!